man. What's wrong with you? I'm just paying these bills. Getting on my nerves. Man, I feel you. Shit, man, I'm hungry, man. You trying to get something to eat? Just bet you is. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? You big. All big people want to do is eat. Bro, just because I'm big, that don't mean I don't go through things. You don't understand my struggle. What struggle do big people have? You ever have a problem putting on your socks? Well, I do. Because my belly get in the way. It's hard. And, and if I'm trying to trying to eat right, eat healthy, people look at me crazy when I order a salad. You go through that? No. And I bet you can find anything you want to wear at the mall, can't you? I go to Macy's, I can't find nothing my size. It's too small. And if I go to the big and tall store, everything extremely too big. I mean, I'm big, but I'm just not fat, sloppy big. Skinny people don't know the struggle. Y'all don't go through nothing. Oh, you think skinny people don't go through nothing? You don't. You ever been called a crackhead your whole life just because you skinny? I never even did crack in my whole life. People been calling me a crackhead just because I'm skinny. It's not my fault. I never even seen a crack rock in my life. Then everybody look at us like we just fit. Oh, you want to go hiking? No, I'm not in shape. I'm just skinny because I got a high metabolism. And then women, they just assume you swinging just because you skinny. All of us not blessed. And I'm one of the people that's not blessed. So before you go judge the skinny people, how about you sit down and learn about us? Man, my bad, man. I, I, I ain't no skinny people went through that, man. I ain't no big people went through that stuff either. I guess we both go through things, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you still trying to get something to eat? Because I'm, I'm hungry. Yeah, man. What you trying to eat? I'm trying to get a salad. Alright, some barbecue chicken. Alright, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs>
Beg. Baby! Are you okay? Yeah, man. I, I can't sleep. I thought you said you was tired. I'm tired, but I can't sleep. Hey, what's wrong? You snore too loud. Oh, no, I do not snore. No, you really do snore loud. You sound like a little piglet. See, now you're being dramatic. No, I'm not being dramatic. And then you sleep mad. Wow, you be all over the bed. Leg be all on me, hair be all in my face. It's something in my mouth right now. Well, if you ain't called my bonnet ugly, then it would have been wrapped up. Well, you need to start wearing it, because I'm tired of this. You're being dramatic. And then you be taking all the covers. So how do you get it back on you now, then? Because I be stealing it back. I'm not about to freeze all night. And then you... Then I what? We already up now, I what? You slob on the pillows. Is that you my slob? Yes. You, you won't complain about my slob any other night. That's for different circumstances. Not for this. I ain't gonna pick and choose. I just, I just want to get a full night of rest. I don't even know how you can be with somebody that you can't even sleep with. Because I love you. And I care about you. You do? Of course. I love you too. Let's go back to sleep. Okay. Yeah, I promise I won't snore. Okay. Good night. Good night. You know Flint still ain't got no clean water? <coughs> Same thing I said. Hey, bro, somebody at my door. I'm going to call you back. Jazz? What's wrong? Just come in. Come on. Okay, now, tell me what's wrong. Cornell, you know I've been looking for a job for weeks now. I... Nothing has added up, like nothing has worked. My rent is about to be due and I just don't know what to do anymore. I just don't know what to do, I mean, I tried everything, I go job yes. to job, and then I also, my yes. car's gonna get repossessed, I just- ah! I can help you with your rent. What? I mean, you've been my friend for a long time. You always helped me when I needed you, so the least I could do is help you when you need me. Thank you, Cornell. Thank you so much. Yeah, I got you. How much is it? It's twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. There you go. Thank you so much, Cornell. No problem. You know I got you. Whatever you need. For sure. Like this is gonna make me and my boyfriend so happy. Your what? My boyfriend. I mean, we live together. We just both been struggling. This is gonna be such a blessing. Hold on, you talking about that dude that had no job in two years? Yeah. What are you doing? Giving you half the rent. What? Why? Look, I'm not about to be taking care of no grown ass man. He need to get up and get a job. Cornell, I promise. I think it's time for you to go. Come on. No. Come on. Cornell, I'm gonna pay you back. Come on, you gotta go. Come on. Pay you back. Come on, go. But I need you. You got to go. No, you got to just go. No, but I'm about to get evicted. Look, look, look. Tell you man to get a job. No, Cornell! <laughs> got all this extra money. What should I do with this? Donate to Flint. That's what I'm gonna do. Yo, somebody revive James. Cornell. Cornell, I know you hear me. Cornell. Man, what is you doing? Why are you ignoring me? 
I know you hear me calling you. I can't hear you. I had the headphones in and I'm playing the game. And look, I just died. What do I care about this damn game? You play it every day after work. Is that a problem? Yes, it is a problem. Look, sometimes after a long day at work, I just want to come home and talk to my man. But I can't because you playing a game. I just want to have an intellectual conversation and spend more time with you. We already spent time together. Not enough. I wish you'd just be a real man and stop playing this stupid game. So I'm less of a man because I play the game? No, it's just childish. You playing the game and ignoring me. I don't ignore you. You just did a minute ago. Well, I'm sorry. I just played the game, you know, get away. To get away from what? Everything. Life, work. My managers make me do everything. My coworkers barely do their job, and I got to do the extra work. And then the janitor don't never put enough tissue in the bathroom, and it's- Okay, calm down. I'm just saying. You know, I just play the game to relieve stress. Like, it's dudes out here cheating. And I'm at home staying faithful playing the game. It's dudes out here who go out with their boys, buy bottles, and waste money on liquor. And I'm sitting here saving money playing the game. So if you don't get that... Oh, I, I didn't think about it like that. I know you didn't. Come here. <laughs> you promised to make some extra time for me? Yeah. Right after this game. Cornell! I was just playing. Hey, you can't take a joke, you always <laughs>
Tell me what happened. So my brother going off to college. And I love my brother, you know? Do anything for him. So we set some stuff up, ran up in this dude's house. One thing led to another, and he got shot. Oh, so you shot him? I didn't shoot him. My brother shot him. And I took the blame for it. Yeah, you know, he's the first one in our family to go off to college, so his future bright. So I took the rap. We don't let him do his thing. That's brotherly love. Yeah. What you here for? They say manslaughter. Allegedly. That's right, so what you do. My girl was cheating on me with my best friend. Damn. I loved her, man. A whole lot. She was my heart and soul. I caught him in the act. I snatched him out the bed. I was filled with rage. I free pieced him. Bop, bop, bop. Broke his chin and his nose. Then I threw him down the stairs. He hit his head on the fourth step and bled out. Hold on, how you know it was the fourth step? Because when you step on that fourth stair, you hear a creak like a eh. I heard that, so I knew that he hit his head on that fourth step and bled out. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> but you did it allegedly, right? Nah, I did it. I think I'm gonna just go. I'm just playing with you, bro. I'm an accountant, man. I'm in here for tax fraud. Oh, okay, man. I, th I thought you really did it. I ain't never killed nobody in my life, bro. I just look like this. I've been here nine years. I came in here looking like you, though. Okay. Well, I'm gonna just get on up out of here. You have a nice day, man. Hey, when you get that commissary, and you get them chocolate milks and them coffee cakes, I'm gonna need those. All right, I got you, man. Hey, who need their taxes done? Babe, what's wrong? Just got a lot on my mind. Mm -hmm. Well, talk to me. What's up? I don't really think I want to talk about it. Why not? Because it's too hard. No, if it's too hard. That's not what I'm talking about. Oh. It's just hard for me to open up. <laughs> you can always talk to me. I'm here. For now. What's that supposed to mean? It means people always leave me when I need them the most. So what's the point of even opening up? Baby. But baby, nothing. What you gonna tell me is gonna be all right when it's not? Or let me guess, you different from the rest of them, right? <sighs> exactly. Okay, but look. Baby, I know what it feels like to not have anybody to talk to. You got all the stuff you wanna say, but you don't have anywhere to go. And get scared because you don't want people to judge you or ridicule you, but look, it's not good for you to hold that in. I just don't want it to build up. Right, it's not good for you mentally. So, if you ever want to talk about it, or you just need a shoulder to lean on, then I'm here. You mean that? Yes, of course I mean it. I just want to see you at your best. I love you. And I love you too. And if you ever need me for anything, I'm here for you. Mm. Well, there's something I want to talk to you about. What is it? You got to promise you're not going to get mad. <laughs> Girl, I'm not going to get mad. Tell me what's up. I love you more than you love me. <laughs> no, you don't. Yes, I do. Man, I love you like this much. No, I love you like <laughs> big. <laughs> I love seeing happy couples on Instagram. <laughs> they are so cute.
Why don't you post me on Instagram? I don't know. I'm just a private person. And what does being a private person have to do with letting the world know you love me? I just don't like everybody in my business. Why? We had a place in our life where we good right now. You happy, I'm happy. And the more people that know about us, just gonna try to mess that up. And I don't want nobody to mess that up. So I just don't post you and don't really tell nobody because I don't like people in my business. I don't see why that's a big deal. Yeah, but you have to understand that there's a difference between keeping something private and keeping something a secret. We can keep our relationship private, but you could still post me on your page and show the world that you love me and I'm your girl. But the fact that you don't post me at all just makes me feel like you want to keep me a secret. Like you're trying to hide me or you're ashamed of me. Baby, I'm not ashamed of you. I care a lot about you. I guess I just never looked at it that way. I apologize for making you feel that way. I love you. I love you too. So when are you gonna post me? Um, I'll post you tomorrow. We can take a picture or something. We have plenty of pictures. You can post me. Now. No, give me. No, give you me won't my, post me. Give now. me my phone. I'll post you tomorrow. You better put it down. Too. There's nothing to eat in here and I'm hungry. I mean, we could just go get something to eat if you want. All right. What you want to eat? I don't know. You never know what you want to eat. I don't know what I have a taste for. It's not that hard of a decision. Every time I ask you what you want to eat, you make it more difficult than what it is. It's like sometimes you want to eat healthy, sometimes you don't. Like, are you a vegetarian? Are you a vegan? Are you a meditarian? Just let me know. I just can't wrap my mind around somebody never knowing what they want to put in their belly. When I'm hungry, I know what I want to eat. If I want meat, I eat that. If I want a salad, I get that. You've been eating your whole life. You know what you like and you know what you don't like. I just don't get how you never know what you want to eat. Like, it's not that serious. It is that serious. It's not easy just to pick something when I'm very, very picky. I can't eat everything. And on top of that, sometimes I want to eat healthy. I don't always want to eat red meats. So that's why I look for you to help us decide what we're going to eat. Isn't that what this relationship is about? You helping me if I don't know? I don't know right now. That's why I need you to help. I mean, I guess you're right. So are you going to help me? I guess I can pick. Um, you want to go get some chicken? I don't want no chicken. Well, do you want a burger and fries? I don't have a taste for that. Well, I don't know what to tell you. I'm about to go get me some food. You can stay here and order something. And who car? That's what we doing? Yeah, that's what we doing. Oh, I'm taking that car. And guess what? You ain't getting back in the house. How you gonna kick me out of my own house? How? When we use my credit score to get the house. Man, you really tripping right now. It's not even that serious. Boy, give me my keys. Come on, man. It's open. Oh, boy, I hear them sticks going. What up, boy? <laughs> I hear them sticks. Let me hop in with you. Oh, no, I was just about to turn it off, man. Dude, you got a whole controller. Let me just hop in with you. I don't feel like playing the game. What's the problem? Why you won't let me play? I don't know how to tell you this, man, but 
You trash. Like, trash, trash, or like trash? Trash, like if they picked up garbage on Sundays, they'll just leave you on the street. Me and the boys try to play with you, but you just suck. Every time we play Fortnite, you dying first. You never revive nobody. And you always cause us to lose. And when we play 2K, you don't put up no points to play defense. Man, I'm trying, man. And I've been practicing. I'm pulling a whole 26 points when I play. 26 points ain't enough when we score 100 a game. You score 26 in one quarter. You just suck, man. You never was good. What if I go to my house and get the Mario Kart so I can bring the Nintendo Switch? Don't nobody play Nintendo no more. It's 2018. Man, I do! I love Mario. Mario Kart's got everybody on there. Luigi, Toad, Princess Zelda. Mr. Oh, I'm a beast at 2K. Don't forget where you come from. Oh, I know where I come from. Where? Sega. You didn't have a Nintendo growing up? No, we was broke when Nintendo came out, so I had to wait for a Sega. You know what, man? I think it's time for you to go. So much for friendship. Hey, Pat. Man, what? Maybe we can play words with friends on the iPhone? Man, you know I'm dyslexic. You mean dyslexic? Man, yeah! Let me know when you want to play checkers. Board game. Hey, what's up, man? Bro, I was just about to play. Let's play. <laughs> you know I ain't never got nobody to play with. Man, Pat suck. You know I don't like to play with him. You know, I was thinking that maybe we could turn this friendship into a relationship finally. Yeah, I, hello? All right, he on the phone. We're going to sneak past him. Don't make no noise. Probably just shoot her a DM or something. Yo, where are you guys going? Uh, we... we just going to this little party, you know? <laughs> oh, 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 let me get ready real quick. No, 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 no. You, uh... It's invite only. Invite only. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, if I'm with you guys, they should let me in, no problem, right? So you gotta be on the list, and we don't got the pool to get you in. Yeah, RSVP. Yeah. Come on, man. Why can't I go? Because we're gonna be Ubering, and it's Uber pool, and there's no extra seats. Man, and... stop. There's no room. Stop. I gotta tell them the truth. We don't want you to go, because you can't dance. You can't dance? Come on. I'm a cabbage patch king. Stop. Stop. Well, since when is this not cool? Look at the Cornell, stop! Bruh, stop, you can't dance! Come on, man. Every time we go out, you just always off beat or off rhythm. You can't even milli rock. Guys, come on, I can... You can't even shoot. If you give me like three minutes, I can get this down. No! You just can't go, man. I'm sorry. You guys just don't understand, man. It's just, I don't have any rhythm. I grew up in the suburbs and there's a lot of classical music and jazz. It doesn't require all this physical. That's not our problem. Come on, okay. I might not be able to dance, right? But, but I'm, a, I'm a great party accessory, okay? I, I have an, an immense vocabulary. I will go up and I will talk to anybody. I, I, if the cops get called, right? I will stand there and I will take the arrest. I, I'm a good wingman, right, Pat? You got a good point. Not one time I... No, stop. <laughs> You're not going, period. Listen, all right, I don't beg for a lot. I don't, but please, let me go to this party, okay? Please. Come on, man, let's, let's just give him a shot. Go put your shirt on, dude. I won't let you down. If he messed this up, it's on you. All right, you guys, I'm ready. Come on, I missed out, I was about to. 
Hit him with a little of this. I'm about to get him with the lawnmower. And uh, yeah, get him. See, that's what we talking about. Dude, you gotta stop. You can't dance. Look, you're not even going no more. You might as well go in the room. And why you got my shirt on? No, okay, all right, I'm gonna take it off. Baby, you home? Yeah, I'll be out in a second. All right. Something smell good. What's that? You know, just some pizza I got after work. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. Yeah, it's about to be delicious. <laughs> mm, where mine at? Uh, I didn't get you any. You didn't give me any? No, it was leftovers for you in the refrigerator. So I've been working all day and you ain't bring me no food? I didn't think it was a big deal. You wasn't thinking. Next thing you know, you'll be Forgetting to open the door for me. Forgetting to pay your half of the rent. <laughs> You'll even forget to take the trash out. Probably forget my birthday. I will never forget your birthday. When is my birthday? Why is we doing this? Like, I know your birthday. Stop. When is it? Your birthday is March 7th. March 17th. Well, at least I got the 7th right. Look. I apologize. I should have called or texted you to see if you want anything. I was just tired after a long day and got me something quick. And I should have been thinking about you. And for that, I'm sorry. So you forgive me? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <coughs> you good? Yeah, I'm good. All right. <coughs> you sure you good? Yeah, just something in my throat. You know, you don't need no medicine or nothing. Mm-mm. <coughs> <coughs> Look, do you need to go to the hospital? You not gonna offer me no pizza? You should have asked. You should have offered. Hey, baby, why you in the kitchen? What you doing just getting home? Oh, me and the boys got food and drinks after we got done balling. Courtney, I called your phone. My phone died earlier. Okay, that excuse. It's not an excuse, it's the truth. It's always the same thing. What are you talking about? Men are so inconsiderate. What you breathing hard for? So you mean to tell me you was out with your boys, but you can use their phone? Wasn't thinking. You can not shoot me a text. But you got expectations for me, because roles reverse. If it was me, you, you have a problem with this, right? So you come in here late and I'm supposed to think that you was with your boys and you weren't with another woman. I wasn't with another woman. Why are you lying? I'm not lying. Baby, wait. You right. I should have been more considerate and hit you up from somebody else's phone. And for that, I apologize. I'm not out here messing with different women. All I want is you. From this day forward, I promise you that I will do everything in my power to show you that I love you and I'm dedicated to you and I'm loyal to you. So do you forgive me? Yeah. Come here. All right, now let's go finish watching Power. On the last episode, we left off on. I already watched it. You serious? Wait, you ain't come home. You can't wait for me? You know it's Sunday night, Cornell. Wow, I cannot believe what? you. Is you serious? 